It's Friday, and that means we are doing Friday flowers from my grocery store. Hi, it's Anne. I'm the inventor of Easy Arranger. And every Friday, uh, you can join me for my um, Facebook Lives or follow it later, watch it later. And I am going to show you how a non professional, such as myself, can do a flower arrangement with um, Easy Arranger and just some flowers from your grocery store. So this morning, I was inspired by, well, over the last week, um, it's citrus season, right? So um, here in Michigan, we don't have, um, you know, it's snowy outside. We don't have a lot of uh, fresh fruit that's in season. So right now, um, everything's about citrus. So I thought it would be fun today to do some natural air freshener type uh, arrangements. So I went to my local Trader Joe's and found some treasures today from the grocery store. So we are gonna use lemons. Ooh, this one went all the way through, please hold. Little clementines with the leaves attached, how cute is that? And beautiful green limes. So that and some flowers, and we are gonna create a couple of arrangements today that you can put, I think these would be great in a kitchen, in a bathroom, the scent, the natural scents from the citrus. Um, plus I'm using roses and some stock and some eucalyptus are really going to give your room like a natural smell that's fresh and clean um, and so I think this will be a really fun one. So to get started I am using just really the most basic base. I find these to be really hard to arrange in. I'm in general because of this like rounded shape. So what I did on the uh, arranger, I'm actually using, this is a five inch arranger. Um, I bent it inside and outside. I know it's kind of hard to see in the camera, but see these are bent over the top on the outside and these other ones are bent inside so that it makes it nice and secure. If you just bend it over, what happens is it doesn't grip as well because it doesn't have that like in, in part like we do on this one. See how this one I can just go right over the lip and I actually can bend it all the way down. I can't do that on these rounded bases. So I kind of did an in and out to make it work. So what we then did is we took the skewers, um, just skewers, bamboo skewers you use for the grill. Uh, Tracy had some at home, she brought some in today. So that's what we use to spear all of our fruit. And then I'll show you later how I just took basic, I think my total grocery bill today um, orange lemons, oranges, lemons, limes. I bought stock eucalyptus and oh, these th thistly things I'll show you. They're really cool. Um, I think the total bill was maybe $20. We're going to do two arrangements and we still have an entire thing of oranges um, to like consume. So let's get started. So I speared my little orange. So I'm just going to put him right in the center. That's a really good example of using Easy Arranger. It's a super heavy, top heavy. But because you've got the arranger in there, it doesn't fall to the side. So then we're just going to kind of place the fruits around. I kind of like to alternate sides. It just gives me a better visual of what I'm working on. I'm going to do another orange here, kind of in the front, I think. And with Easy Arranger, you know, you can change it up a few more times before you're done. It doesn't have to be in that way forever. All right. So I've started with my fruit. I kind of like how that. I kind of like how that's looking. Maybe move this guy so he's a little bit lower because he's such a big one. Kind of start like that. Actually, I still want him shorter. It's a big lemon. Okay, broke off a little more. Yeah, that's kind of what I like going. So got this started. Um, got all the pretty colors in there, and then I'm gonna show you the other things I bought. So these are the like I was telling you the fun thistle things. Isn't that pretty? I, it, it didn't say the name of the flower on it. So it looks to me like a thistle, but I'm sure, like I said, you, you all who are professionals know what this is called. But I thought it was a fun flower, a little find. So I'm gonna go through, I cut the stems. You can see about how long I cut them. I want, my, I want these to be kind of low. I'm doing kind of a low arrangement with some fun stuff popping up the top. So I'm just gonna kind of fill in between the fruit. I'm sure I just knocked something off, oh yeah. As always, there is probably, I'm probably only using about half of what this bundle was. Ooh. Yep, I just made that noise on TV. There we go. Okay. So, gonna place those in there. I'm gonna tilt this a little bit so you guys can see. Kinda place those in between. And then I'm going to use a uh, stack. 
I, I think I can't stop buying these because they smell so good. So these I caught um, to be a little taller than the arrangement and I'm putting them in so they kind of like pop out the top and give you that kind of frilly look. So let's see how that looks. Oh, happy. It's so happy. All right, and then eucalyptus. I love the smell of it. I have put it in everything I can because it's so, so yummy. And I want that to kind of be like the organic part of the arrangement that just kind of pops out the side. Mm -hmm. Hard to do when I'm like not facing me. Okay. All right, and believe it or not, I think that's about it, you guys. So. I'm going to turn because like it'll show up better on the white so you can kind of see it's just a happy little arrangement I might move this like stock over you know you can fiddle with it after you're done so you can see it from every angle but that's a little happy flower arrangement using some citrus I'm gonna put this one in the back I still don't like where it went yeah that's what I'm looking for more like go that's the number so this is our little first arrangement it's just lemons limes and it smells I know you can't smell it on Facebook but it smells fabulous so I'm gonna just pass this one off and we're gonna do another cute little arrangement okay so I love a little galvanized bucket so we actually use these all over the showroom for like crayons for imagination starters so we use them um, for, it's kind of like a catch-all so what I took, this is actually a six inch easy arranger. And all I did is I bent it over the top, just like that, squish it down. And then in this, in this arrangement, I'm only using two things. These really inexpensive, but super sweet spray roses. So when you get a stem of spray roses, there's usually about four buds, on four or five buds on each little spray rose. They're usually half the price of like long stem regular roses. And they look beautiful as kind of a antique looking uh, vintage style. So what I did is I took our little clementines with our leaves and I did the sticker again. And then I'm gonna start in the center. And I'm just going to poke these little beauties all around, kind of space them in my easy arranger. That one kind of wants to go its own direction. Yeah, you really don't wanna stay where I want you to go today. I'm gonna flip you out. So there's the big one. There's one giant orange in the set and this is the one that wants to have its own mind. Mm, a little tall still. Oh, there we go. Perfect, perfect. So I've got my little oranges in there. You can kind of see spaced out in there. And then what I did is I clipped the spray roses, sometimes one, sometimes two. That's all I did. And I am just going to put them, kind of squeeze them, and then push them down in between the oranges, the clementines to be exact. I'm just going to fill in the spaces. This is not like any kind of magical science here. This is literally putting the roses in the holes all the way around to fill in the spaces. Ooh, this one has got lots on there. The nice thing about Easy Arranger too is you can just put your water in last so that you can see like how long your stems are. I really like that feature because when I'm done with this, I can actually lift the whole thing off. It'll stay arranged. And then I can add the water after the fact and make sure that it comes up because we're using real short little flowers. So you can raise the water up to right to the edge of the um, roses and that will keep everything looking nice and fresh. Let's see how that's looking. Do I need one in the front here? Oh yeah, I like how that looks. Kind of tilt them out a little bit too. And look at that. It's just a sweet little orange and roses bouquet. Now I kind of like to um, add like some green on occasion. So I took a couple of the leaves from one of the oranges and you can just kind of tuck that in there if you want like a little spot where you want some green to kind of come out. And I lost my other one. Oh, I even 
found some more roses that fell off the table. Let's put those in there too. No one said there was not too much roses. You can never have too many. Oh, I like it right there. Oh yeah. So there you go. This is our little little air freshener. Little happy arrangement. Um, smells really good. The roses smell great, and the little oranges kind of add that little fun um, citrusy scent to your room. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Give these a try when next time you stop at your grocery stores, pick up some oranges, pick up some sticks, and pick up some flowers, and see if you can create a little natural air freshener for your home too. Have a great day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.